and you will tell your colleagues to join you in killing this leadoff guy. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to give a special welcome to a man who made a great effort to be with us. You and Caroline, who's a career Navy for nearly four decades. He's the former Commander-in-Chief of the United States Pacific Fleet, the largest military command on the face of the earth, Admiral James Ace Lyons. Thank you very much. I got to say, by your presence here tonight, you said it all. You understand. Houston, we have a problem. What? I am Never in my lifetime did I believe I was going to get this great country of ours being taken down and withdrawn from our world leadership by our own administration. Unbelievable. And when it comes to Iran, I've been chasing those guys for over 35 years. I've got a question. I had the planes loaded many times. I was on the white out. If you never had to walk that walk, you shouldn't be talking any talk. But as you know, we have many opportunities to change the course of history when it comes to Iran. Honor and a privilege, sir. Great space. But it didn't matter whether it was a Republican or Democratic administration, they all failed. Thank you, sir. It's a failed course we must have come up with it. Sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry. And this agreement is another example of sabotage within. It is a total sellout. Of course, that doesn't bother the rights of Secretary Kerry, because this is the second time he sold out his country. Someone wanted me to give you that. And for President Obama, this is his never, never chamberlain. He's a ridiculous. We don't have an agreement. I mean, what we have are terms of surrender. I know. There you go. We guarantee Iran will have a nuclear weapon and just I have his email address. Two days ago, we guarantee I they will the have the most modern conventional weapon to so jeopardize our position in the Persian Gulf. Now, I always said these negotiations were a shame. Maxine, you're hurting me. But I want to take you back to when President Obama was Maxine. candidate Obama in the summer of 2008. And according to Michael Levine, he opened up the secret communication channel to the evil Romanian regime. And that's will be the first was Ambassador William G. Miller, who spoke fluent Farsi and served in our army. What should I organize this? One of them. And the message was, didn't mention my name, that's better, because I don't want the billion to Don't well. sign an agreement with the Bush administration. Way long president, you will get a much better deal. Well, he certainly proved that. He went on to tell him, you will like my policy. I am your friend. Unbelievable. He is a country that's been at war with the United States for over 35 years. The world's leading sponsor. Of state sponsored terrorism. To give the kids they the caused the loss of lives of thousands of, of Americans. Americans. To start having those relationships. And for you, New Yorkers, you never should forget 
it's not hard. That it was a wrong somewhere, and I think who provided the key.